All right, welcome back everybody again to the Quick Carbon Podcast, now episode 21. No new Patreon patrons or PayPal donors, so no sparkly lights or fireworks displays this time. If you'd like to get one for yourself, or you just want to support me and the podcast, then PayPal and Patreon links are both down in the description below. So, for the closing out of this week, or rather the week that just ended, the US rig count drop continues absolutely plunging down, 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 down. When will it stop? Nobody knows. Although I've uh, read quite a number of, uh, of articles and things that seem to all uh, be in a vague agreement that they think it'll stop somewhere between 150 and 250, or rather when it's down to that many rigs left. But the U.S. rig count has now fallen by about half in less than two months. Two months ago, the U.S. drilling rig count was around 800 active rigs. Now, as of this week, it is down to only 408. U.S. oil production obviously dropping with it, as most U.S. oil production in present day is from shale oil, and shale only keeps producing if you keep drilling and keep fracking. So the plunge in rig numbers has meant, say, plunge in U.S. oil production, and over the past few weeks, it has fallen from its height of 13 million barrels per day down to now 12.1. And it is expected by many to drop to around 10 or so, but we'll see how that actually goes. Within the U.S. rig count drop, the individual states come in as Texas now being all the way down at only 201, having a year and a half ago been up in the 620s, and having very recently still been up in the 500s. So that's Permian Shale and Eagle Ford Shale uh, rigs disappearing off the map. Oklahoma, which was not too long ago up at around 120 actively drilling rigs, has been plunging down and is now down to only 15 left. And Oklahoma is underlaid by the Anadarko Shale. New Mexico had been sticking around in the 110s or so, and then it began dropping with the others as well. Now it's down to only 66 rigs remaining, so almost down halfway. Colorado, one of the states under which the Niobara Shale lies, had been holding out for a while, but a couple weeks ago began dropping as well, and now is down from the 20s all the way down to only 8 rigs remaining. Utah also houses some of the Niobara Shale, Although Utah never really had that many rigs going in it, but Utah is now out of the game, down to zero. Ohio underlaid in its eastern portion by the Appalachian Natural Gas Shale, still the only one cleaning on. Ohio is still cleaning on, unmoved, nine rigs still going. West Virginia finally began joining the others and uh, began dropping down from around 15 or so now is down to only seven rigs remaining. Pennsylvania had been sticking around, uh, but now has begun dropping as well, and is down a couple more this week, down to only 23. Wyoming, also part of the Niobara Shale, continues dropping, now down to four. And California, which up until the current situation, basically always stuck around 15, which uh, were essentially just maintenance wells, or... Uh, gasping breath wells trying to uh, do their best to, uh, to keep, you know, the old fields there alive. But even those now are going away, and California's rig count has dropped from 15 down to 5. And since it's the start of the month, we also have the global or international rig count data. So excluding, I believe it excludes both the U.S. and Canada, excluding the U.S. and Canada, uh, total worldwide active drilling rig count dropped over the course of April from 1,059 active rigs down to only 915. Canada, over the last month, has lost 100 rigs. A month ago, they still had 133 actively drilling rigs in the country. And now Canada, after uh, the price collapse, has shut a lot of those down and is down to only 33 active rigs at the moment. And for specific regions across the world, Europe, which does include Russia, 
Europe hasn't dropped that much over the past month. They've dropped from 123 active rigs down to 112. Asia and Oceania, which includes uh, basically everything in the L shape or the curve from India up and around all the way up uh, through China and Japan, as well as obviously Southeastern Asia, Oceania, you know, Indonesia, Malaysia, Australia, and all that. The Asia Oceania region took a bit of a bigger drop. Over the last month, uh, they've lost 40 rigs, dropping from 231 actively drilling down to only 191. Africa had the smallest drop, only losing five rigs over the last month, despite all the low prices, dropping from 108 actively drilling rigs on the continent to 103. The Middle East, which also includes the, uh, the Caspian Sea area and what you would consider the Central Asian republics like Kazakhstan. The Middle East didn't drop that much, dropping from 428 actively drilling rigs down to 420. And Latin America, so everything from Mexico down to Argentina and Chile, dropped uh, by about half over the course of the month, from 169 actively drilling rigs down to only 89. So you can see oncoming, as uh, we discussed, aside from just the willing production cuts or drawbacks, there is also going to be uh, some decreasing production just from this, uh, this massive loss of rigs, even outside of the U.S. And as we've ended another week, I'll uh, run off some of the, uh, the metal data since, as I said a few episodes back, I've uh, unfortunately been neglecting it just because, you know, so many extreme things have been happening in the energy market. So the trends and uh, incidents that uh, we were talking about in the previous one or the last time we talked about metals are continuing. Gold inventories still building up, not as quickly anymore, but still building up, uh, rising since last time from 18 million ounces in storage up to 20.5 million. Silver inventories continuing to be drawn down from 316 million ounces in storage down to 314 million. Platinum and palladium, again, the platinum group metals are much rarer, and uh, their inventories are only measured in thousands of ounces. Platinum and palladium inventories both still relatively about the same, 153,000 ounces of platinum in storage and about 30,000 ounces of palladium. In terms of their prices, gold uh, still sticking around in the 1700s, in particular, as of this recording, $1,710 per ounce. Silver, as of this recording, being around $15 per ounce, platinum being about $778, and palladium having uh, lost a bit from still being over $2,000 down to just under $1,900 at $1,899 per ounce. Aluminum inventories uh, increased a bit more, up to 1.35 million tons in storage. Lead inventories went up and down, but uh, ended up at the end of the week right back at the same place. But uh, rounding-wise, they ended right back up at 73,000 tons in storage again. Nickel inventories went down and up uh, and came close to ending back up at the same place, but not exactly, a little bit higher, 231,000 tons in storage. And zinc inventories wobbled around in the upper 90s and ended at 97,000 tons in storage. And for their prices, aluminum decreased a bit more going under $1,500 per ton, down to $1,485. Lead decreased a bit more, down to $1,629 per ton. Nickel decreased as well, down a bit under $12,000, down to about $11,900 per ton. And zinc coming in in the same area or so at $1,912 per ton. So that's about it for this one. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, obviously, subscribe if you haven't. I should be putting up my uh, soon-to-be monthly push-up-fail video soon, excluding Steven's donation. Uh, PayPal and Patreon combined, I got about uh, 27 bucks of donations in April, so I'll have to try on camera to do 27 push-ups without stopping. I won't be able to do it. I might be able to get, like, 20 or 21. But I'll make an attempt on our quest to try to get me back up to uh, my record from my younger years, I was able to do, I think, like 63 without stopping. 
But if you enjoy all the stuff and you want to support the podcast or just help me out, then uh, then you can send directly through PayPal or sign up to the monthly thing on Patreon. Either way, you'll be contributing each month to the end of the month push-up count. But regardless of anything and all else, thank you everybody for even just being here. May God bless you all, and I will see you all around next time.